With the new release of Mortal Kombat, I wanted to dive into who is actually the better ninja, Scorpion or Sub-Zero. We are going to lightly dive into their lore, their competitive perception from the games, and which one just looks better. So let's fight. But before we start, you have to go hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll wait. Okay, now that you did that, thank you. Now let's, let's continue with the video. There hasn't been a greater rivalry in video game history. Well, I take that back. There has been some great ones, but I'm kind of killing my point here. Mortal Kombat initially released back in 1992 with the roster of seven characters. The obvious two standouts were Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Throughout the 29 year history of the franchise from games to film to TV, one constant has always remained. The struggle between the two. With the new release of the movie this year, it's apparent we are traveling back to the origin where these two ninjas kind of hit off. So we'll see who the victor is real soon. I'm not too sure if they're going to really change from the actual story plot of the previous games or if they're going to kind of alter history a little bit and kind of redcon some decisions they made in the past, but it'll be kind of interesting to see where this story takes us. Scorpion and Sub-Zero have always been fan favorites in the games, with them usually taking different approaches in regards to the gameplay, with both usually regarded fairly easy to moderate for learning to be proficient, which is fair considering they are the most well known in the franchise and the most played. You want low barrier entry characters usually for these roles with Scorpion usually being considered the cheaper of the two characters with the usual teleports and kunai attacks which is basically the get over here attack and the hellish fatalities. With fire there is always the opposite well to a degree I think if we were talking about Pokemon then technically fire would beat ice. I'm rusty on my Pokemon lingo anyways Sub-Zero with his signature freeze attacks is the right counter to Scorpion's ego. I personally have always loved the look of Scorpion and throughout the years my love for Sub-Zero has started to replace that. With Scorpion transitioning further into representing the undead side and Sub-Zero leaning further into the cold hearted human, as I take some time to think on why I started to prefer Sub-Zero versus Scorpion, why I switched sides from fire to ice, this is kind of what comes to mind. Scorpion has always been more popular of the two. I'm not sure if it's my tendency to root for the underdog or the slow grown love for the color blue. In Mortal Kombat 11, Scorpion has rooted as a cheap character to play with for some time and sometimes I have trouble separating the thought of public perception. But in reality, it's probably better to play such a popular character because more people are wanting to see them and learn their combos and so on and so forth. It's just something I have trouble separating my myself with so I always try to go with characters that are hardly never played. Rest in peace Starfire I really do miss you and I gosh I need to really play some Injustice too. Scorpion always has been on the better side of the coin in regards to the right cause. Where on a couple occasions being teamed up with Sub-Zero with each dying to each other's hands leaving undead Scorpion or the original Sub-Zero Baihan or his younger brother Koi Lang after Baihan turns into Noob Saibot it's a very complicated lineage going on here with some crazy lore, but basically right off the bat you're placed in the position to prefer Scorpion and root for the good guy because he is usually portrayed as fighting for, you know, the right cause and his family wasn't murdered by Sub-Zero and all that. So anyways, as I broke it down, where do you lie on the spectrum? Leave a comment down below on who you believe to be the better ninja and why that is. Personally, for me, it's hard to say, it kind of depends on the day, but I'm going to have to go with my boy Blue. Now, I may be a little bit on the, I don't know, on the side of not popular belief, but prove me wrong down below and let me know what you guys think. Once again, thanks for guys for watching, and until next time, guys, have a good night.